Our previous work had examined whether human brains express genes that had any relationship to human brain activity. We made the assumption that that was the case. And so the previous work had shown if you took data from imaging and compared it to human brain gene expression, we could identify specific genes that are involved in human brain activity. But then we wanted to take this one step further and ask, could we do the same sort of assessment, but looking at human brain activity during a specific task, in this case, a memory task. So we wanted to know whether we could identify human genes that are involved in memory, human memory. I study memory and I thought that I have this opportunity to obtain tissue from the brains of people that are undergoing surgery for seizures. And I was looking for someone on the basic science side who would have an interesting project to do with that tissue. A common part of evaluating someone for surgery, we often put electrodes in the brain to try and map out the seizures. And it turns out that those same brain areas are also heavily implicated in how the brain processes memory and makes new memories and retrieves the memories and things like that. Currently, we really have nothing to offer people that have cognitive changes due to seizures. If you know, identifying these genes kind of starts the ball rolling towards a therapy, that'd be amazing. We're taking information obtained from this brain tissue. We're looking at numeric values of how much one gene is expressed versus another gene's expression in a specific part of the human brain. So using this approach, we were able to identify over 100 genes involved in human memory. In terms of understanding specific genes, it's very exciting because a number of these genes had not been previously linked to any sort of brain process before. And so now any number of labs could study these specific genes and just understand their basic function. The identification of these genes will really have some implications also for pharmacological aspects and treating various memory disorders and other sorts of brain disorders. And that's one of our goals in undertaking this research. So I think it's just the beginning.